Hello troops, I wanted to bring you this video uh, and hopefully some people will get some stuff out of it, especially if you use Sony Vegas. Before we get started here, I'd just like to draw your attention to the audio that's happening in the background here. Some of you may know and some of you may not know that I've been producing my own audio for, specifically for Daisy videos really. They're available in the link below if you would like to download them just to listen to or feel free to use them in any of your content that you make. But let's get started on the tutorial on how to improve your audio and video quality. I've been noticing recently that there's a lot of even fairly big content creators are still having problems with quality issues in their video. Now I was struggling with this for a very long time um, and things like running through forests and through fields, the screen would get very blocky, kind of half centimetre square blocks that would appear for like two or three seconds then disappear for 10, 15, 20 seconds and appear then disappear then appear then disappear and it just made it look really shitty quality. And I'm sure a lot of you are aware that YouTube re-encodes your video so although your raw video may be perfect YouTube will um, encode it to its own standards. So this is YouTube's um, general encoding bitrate standards so as you can see here even though you may render your image as a, I don't know, 25, 30, 40, 50 megabytes per second or megabits per second bitrate, YouTube will then encode it at 8 when you upload. So the kind of trick to fool YouTube is to make sure you produce a 1440p, so it's a 2k image, and then it'll upload it and encode it at 16. That's if you're using... 30 FPS. Now I use 60 FPS, so you get even more. You get 24 uh, instead of 12 if you upload at 1440p. Now my content is recorded at 1080, but what I've noticed is that even when you upload at 1440, the 1080 quality is far superior um, when you upload it at that. So I'll kind of go over what you need to do in order to achieve this better quality. If we nip back to Sony Vegas, so here are my project settings. You see here I've just saved it as a, a custom uh, template here. So if you make the width uh, 2560, height 1440, obviously frame rate 60 because that's why I record then. You can have a look at these other settings, they're not super important, this is the, the main one. I don't think there's anything else of fantastic interest here. It's just all basically standard, but you can copy these settings if you want. And this is what project settings you use in order to generate your final rendered file. Now, once you're ready to go, now I've created a custom template here. Um, Internet HD 1440p. So I'll let you have a look. This is the main concept, DVC AAC template. I'm using a custom frame size so then I've included the uh, 1440p dimensions here so 2560-1440. Profile is main, frame rate is 60 and you can see here I'm using a constant bit rate of 50k, sorry 50 million. I'm rendering using my video card but that doesn't really matter it just speeds up the rendering. So you can copy the other settings here. Audio, again, I'm just basic bog standard bit rates for audio. And here are some other settings in case you want to see them. Now what this does is we'll render the file as a 1440p file. And then upload it and spoof YouTube into thinking that it is a 1440p file. Now the thing you have to be aware of is that 1440p files on YouTube take a lot longer to render. They'll upload at the same rate, it might be slightly bigger file size depending on the length of your video. But once it's uploaded it will render at 720, take a little bit longer for 1080, then can actually take quite some time for 1440. I've had it take sometimes a day or two to render out to 1440 but that's been the exception. Usually it'll take about maybe, I don't know, six, seven hours and it's ready at 1440 so that's just something to be aware of. Okay, the last thing I wanted to show you was that what I've done in uh, my track effects, so this is my video track. 
just drag this over. So I have a color corrector secondary on the video track in order to try and just tweak the colors slightly to make them a little bit warmer. Daisy can often feel a little bit kind of bland and um, washed out. So here are my color settings which you can copy. Uh, saturation 1.475, gamma's at 1, gain's at 1.165, alpha's at 1. So this just helps kind of warm it up a little bit. And I just save this on the master track instead of each individual video file. Just save this here. Uh, sorry, load it on here and that means it'll apply to everything. Now the final thing to improve your video quality. A lot of people don't know this or forget to do it. Once you put your video tracks into Sony Vegas, right click. There's two ways of doing this. You can either go to switches and always disable resample. When you load them in, it'll be smart resample. And what this does is it introduces ghosting into your images. So the frames kind of blend into each other and they look really shitty. So make sure you disable resample. Also, you can go to properties and click disable resample here. Okay, one final little extra tweak is see if you're doing a slow motion section. So say you wanted to make, I don't know, make this section slow motion, just this section here. You hold control, then you drag that out and you can see it's slow motion now. The further you drag it out, the slower it gets. I'm still holding control while I'm dragging here and if you make it smaller, it goes faster. Now. That's all good, but the thing is, your audio will be a mess. So right click on the audio track, go to properties, and make sure you tick this lock to stretch. That'll make your audio sound much better and less kind of metallic -y and tinny. Alright. So if you use all those little tips, you should hopefully have a much better quality looking video with better audio for these kind of slow-mo sections. Hope that's helped everybody. Good luck. Cheers. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like these videos and take care.